Let's get started here by seeing if we can develop a really cool workflow in this program. And this to me is where the power of Lightroom really begins shining through. So here are some pictures of a hailstorm that actually happened not too long ago. And I went outside and took some photographs. So I've got all these really cool photos and toward the end I realized that my camera was set to the wrong white balance. So I can fix that, I can. But I took one more photo at white balance set and that's more or less what it should look like. Now, I'm not suggesting we look at this one and click some button and apply it to all the others. We have to experiment to get it right. So well, let's say we go to this one right here and then we open up basic and we're talking really here about temperature and tint. So I'm going to heat that up a little bit. I'm going to raise my Kelvin to about 5500, which is pretty standard. And actually that looks good. And I'll leave the tint alone for now. So I've got this one here and this one here. But I can't look at both of them in develop and this is where the modules come in. I want you to hold the control key down and click on this one here. Good one's on the right, or we think it's the good one and the one we just corrected is on the left. Reach over on your keyboard and press the letter N. Now N stands for survey and survey is in library. So watch what happens. It takes us right to the library and we can look at both of these images nice and big. What I did to get here is I pressed the tab key because I don't need that stuff on the sides and that's just in the library module. I'm looking at this now and I realize the one on the left is not as cool and you can see that in the sky up here. It's not as cool so I know that now. So I'm going to go back to the letter D, press D. We have this one right here selected. And what we want to do is cool it down a little bit with some tint. And so let's go ahead and move that a little bit this way. Maybe somewhere around 20, 25, somewhere like that. Okay, let's hold the control key down and select this one and then press the letter N again. And we can see them next to each other and that's beginning to look a little bit better. So the suggestion here is a lot of times you have one image in one film strip. You've got a lot of stuff down there. And this one image is really what you want the others to look like. But it's not as simple as clicking a preset or some button and saying, make this one look like this one. We can compare them. Now, the other thing is we can add more images too, as long as we're here. Hold the control key down. You could add if you want to a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, whatever you want to do. You don't want this one anymore. Click the little X. You decide you want to work again, press the letter D. These are all shortcuts to get back into develop and then choose another image and go from there. Working between develop and library helps you compare the images and decide if you like how the development process is going.